Hey guys, uh, this is Normal here for Technique and today we'll have a quick look at the new Mailbox app uh, which has been released for Android. So Mailbox uh, is a popular iOS uh, email client which was acquired by uh, Dropbox uh, a year back. And now Dropbox has released uh, the Android version of this app. So it's now available for download, it's free of cost and you can uh, get started uh, by downloading the app. So we have uh, installed this app on our Android phone so let's go ahead and see how it uh, works so you can uh, see the welcome screen so let's just uh, zoom and show you the options here so you can see here mailbox uses Dropbox to store and sync preferences across your devices so you need a Dropbox account to get started so I can either create a new account or sign into your existing Dropbox account so let's just click here so let's uh, just sign in So we are just uh, signed into the Dropbox. Now welcome to Mailbox. Add an email account. So let's uh, you can see you can either add a Gmail account or an iCloud account. So these are the only ones supported right now. So you don't have an option for Outlook or uh, Yahoo. So you have only the Google account. So let's click uh, the Google account. So you have this uh, Google sign-in page. So this is uh, the the sign in page from Google directly added to the screen so you just uh, you can just sign in with your Gmail account so we are signed in then it uh, asks for the permissions um, view and manage email know you are on uh, Google uh, view, your, view your email address or uh, manage your contacts so accept so it's now verifying the email address and then uh, it will set up the account So there you go it has uh, completed the setup so you can uh, auto sign in uh, so done so you can see welcome to mailbox uh, there are five zones in your mailbox and uh, uh, use five messages to move between them so these are the five uh, options you can just swipe uh, between them uh, to move the emails so let's just get started swipe to, uh, swipe right to archive so if you swipe uh, from uh, left to right uh, I mean email it will go to archives so you can see here this is how you archive a message so great job uh, you can quickly access your archive from navigation bar and then all mail folder of gmail so next long swipe to trash so now try swiping a message further to skip archive and put it in the trash so you can see here this is a long swipe so this uh, long swipe will uh, send the message to trash so that means it will delete uh, the message so you can even uh, uh, try this here so now swipe left for later swipe left to snooze an email so if you don't want to read an email at this point you can just snooze it so just to swipe it here so it'll ask you uh, when you want to view that mail again so here you have a few options so let's just zoom in and show you so the options are um, later today, tomorrow evening, uh, tomorrow uh, then you have this weekend, next week, uh, in a month, uh, someday or pick a date. So there are quite a lot of options available. So you can select when you want to view that uh, email. So if you later today, if you click later today, you get a notification uh, later. So that's uh, the, so long swipe uh, to uh, so long swipe left to list. So swipe a message for the left to skip later and then add to list. So you can see here it is it will add to the list. So you can uh, you can create multiple lists and then add to that list. So that's again handy. So you can uh, you added a mail to the list. So that's uh, so that's th those are the features of our mailbox app. So we have just had a look at all the features of mailbox app. So first is a swipe right to archive. Then you can long press uh, long press right swipe uh, to delete then you have uh, swipe to left to um, snooze it then you have the option to add it to list so let's just go to the um, I mean you can just uh, see this inbox uh, so let's uh, let's just go this here so you have uh, this is the email uh, so so these are the options so you have the set of options here so this is to add to a list uh, then uh, you have the option to snooze then uh, you have uh, the option to delete as well as uh, make market as red so we'll just uh, go to one more 
option so here are the options to reply and reply to all and this and forward so those options are here so the formatting is really good uh, the, you have set of options on the top you have the set of options on the top as well as the options at the bottom so the ui is uh, really good you can add it to list uh, then you can uh, snooze the email as well now just uh, we'll just uh, swipe for the email so that's that email is deleted now let's go ahead and see another option so let's just um, so this is archived so we are just archiving these emails now if you want to delete just uh, long press um, this here so that's a deletion so these are the uh, the options in the email so now if you swipe from here you can uh, see the options here so there's a search box uh, then you have the mailbox then you have uh, the emails in the later so whatever emails you are sent to the later list will be available here then if you have created a list you can see the list here and then you can see the mails in that list then uh, archived mails will be av available here then you have the trash mails send items uh, then you have the settings so under settings you can add a signature uh, to your email then auto swipe or snooze list etc so these options are uh, pretty much uh, for each individual setting so auto swipe suggestion will appear on new on the email so when you do, when you swipe an email to archive list the app will automatically check for new emails which are similar to this uh, email and then auto auto archive this um, email so that's um, that's what uh, this does then next is uh, snooze so you can um, to start my day at uh, we can set uh, weekends etc so these are the options available then you have this uh, list so to buy to read to watch these are the default uh, list then you have the notifications uh, then uh, the preferences here so you can see this uh, auto swipe option turned on by default so this will auto swipe suggestion will appear on new emails uh, you receive in the email inbox so you can see you can uh, see create pattern so you create a rule by pressing and holding the archive uh, different list of trash icons while we viewing a um, uh, conversation so just uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, see how this works so for example um, just here so if you press and hold this uh, you can see always swipe to archive so you can select the email uh, this conversation or from uh, this particular email id so all these options are available you can select uh, which one you want to do with this email so if you click uh, from no reply this email id so any email uh, from this email id will automatically go to the archive list so that's how this works so uh, if you go to this uh, it always news to later so any email if you receive from this uh, account it will automatically snooze to later so similarly you can have this full um, uh, list as well so this uh, for this you need to press and hold the individual icons so that uh, the actions are set by this app so it's really beautiful uh, app uh, so there are quite a lot of uh, options uh, and then uh, the compose window that's uh, that's the final part of this uh, option so you have this option to attach uh, um, I mean documents or images so you can add a CC and a blank carbon copy then subject uh, then you also have this option of uh, setting the uh, email uh, signature that can be set from the settings so those are the options um, in this email app uh, you also have this search email option so that's uh, the mailbox app for Android so this is a beautiful app uh, uh, and uh, it works really well uh, you have all the settings uh, you have few options like uh, the later the sweet list the archive option swipe to archive so these features uh, make it really useful and uh, worth the uh, I mean email client for Android so this is available uh, free of course and you can download it from the play store so this um, is now available on the play store you can get it uh, on any android phone so we have uh, done a quick review of this app so this app has really good potential it's already a hit uh, app on the ios too so overall this app performs really well and uh, it has all the features you would uh, require on an and i mean email client so all the basic features are covered plus extra you have uh, these uh, swipe uh, actions so overall this is a beautiful app you can download it free of course from the play store so that's all in the quick review of mailbox uh, if you have any specific queries regarding this video uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video